Hi everybody, this is Bill and Sonia from Weeby, and we're going to show you 11 things to do in Bangkok and give you tips on each one. All right, so the first one is going to be the floating market. Floating market is on Saturday and Sundays and runs from 9 to 5, but don't worry about getting there early because they really don't start at 9. Um, especially if you want to see the uh, vendors all in their boats with the products all laid out in their boats floating on the water. The, give them some time. So 10, 10.30 uh, and they'll be out there. Also, the actual market mostly is on land and it's got some really cool stuff. Number two, take the BTS and try to stay near a BTS. This is also called a sky train. You can buy a rabbit card at the station. It gets really crowded in there, so you may even hear announcements that tell you not to wear a large backpack. Yeah, very crowded. Good, good point. Thanks. Uh, three is there's a great place in the northeast quadrant of the um, Victory Monument area called uh, Boat Noodle Alley. There's a bunch of boat noodle places in there. My tip is go to Payak. It's the one at the down at the bend. That'll make sense when you're there. They all wear yellow shirts, so you can't miss them. The bowls are delicious. My favorite was beef. Number four, Wat Po. Here you want to make sure you're wearing pants. You want to make sure your shoulders are covered. You'll remove your shoes when you enter the temples. It's famous for the Temple of the Reclining Buddha, and it has a working Buddha's monastery and a massage school. Five. Speaking of massage... Get a Thai massage. They're all over the place. And if you've been walking two or three hours and your dogs are barking, pop in one of these places. They will rub your feet for about an hour for about three bucks. Number six, recommended by Anthony Bourdain, is Tip Samai for their Pat Thai. Don't be intimidated by that long line that you saw. You'll find yourself seating at a table and even eating in about 20 minutes. Max, and they're delicious. Also, go see a, a Muay Thai fight. Uh, Muay Thai is, is traditional Thai kickboxing. It's their national sport, and it's magnificent. The music you hear uh, with Thai boxers really is for the fighters. It helps them get in a rhythm, helps them fight better. Now, we sat in the first-class seats, which are like front row. Uh, in the States, those are incredibly expensive seats. Uh, here, they're about 60 bucks and well worth it. The action was just amazing. Now, if you want to gamble, you sit in the second class seats because that's where all that stuff happens. Number eight, Ayutthaya is the former capital of Thailand. When you get out there, you want to actually to get out there, you want to make sure you book a round trip taxi because you may not find one once you get there. And if you do find one, it may cost you more to get back. You can also negotiate a price with a tuk-tuk driver to drive you around because the temples are far apart from one another. And you can even rent traditional Thai clothing and take pictures at the temples. Nine, you can rent a long tail boat at the um, Mandarin Oriental Pier and go up the river. Now, if you see this lady, buy a beer from her. She was super sweet, super cool, and her partner makes the best bowl of noodles in Thailand. Speaking of noodles, number 10, street food. Yes. You'll find it everywhere in Bangkok. And you'll want to have small denominations of bot with you, preferably 10, 20, 50, or 100 bot. It's really hard to break a thousand bot on the street. Yeah, most uh, street foods like 20, 30, 50 baht anyway. So my tip is to try a little bit from each vendor. Don't just buy a bunch of stuff from one. Go around to everybody. Uh, get a little something here, a little something there. Share a bowl from this place. Uh, share some rice from this other place. By the time you get down the road, you're going to be full, uh, very happy, and you probably only spend three or four bucks. Mm-hmm. And if you're at all sensitive to spicy food, you can get some watermelon from one of the fruit vendors to help with the heat. That's a really good tip. It, it does help cut the heat out. <laughs> uh, 11. Um, basically, you can get a cruise on the river at Asia Teak Riverfront at the pier there. Uh, we did it with a, a restaurant called Ban Cantanita, which they have a, a restaurant and a cruise ship that goes up down the river. 
they serve you dinner um, and give you some information about Thailand. Now, you want to book this way in advance and you want to uh, kind of predetermine what type of cruise you want. Do you want a party cruise or a dinner cruise? We pick dinner. Do you want international food or Thai food? We pick Thai. And you get like a four or six course meal, depending on what you, you get, and you get to like cruise up the river and see this beautiful city at night. Well, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. We hope you enjoy uh, Bangkok as much as we did. And next we will be in... Kanchanabri. I can never see say that See you right. then. Welcome to the Thanks jungle. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye.